Hey, what's going on, guys? Business owners, steal my personal Google Sheet for ranking in Google Maps. Free step-by-step -step ranking plan. Watch this. All right, what's going on, guys? So you're actually going to steal my process. This is something that I put together for many, many years. You can actually be able to steal my process. And um, I have a sheet that you'll be able to download. In the beginning, I suggest that you watch the video because it's going to explain like how I set up the websites, the Google My Business, now it's called Google Business Profile, the citations, as well as uh, creating articles which are extra support for keyword pages. So for example, if you're doing a, uh, a keyword page, you're trying to rank a plumbing or DUI lawyer, you may not have a co enough content on that page. So you have to create supporting articles and link to that keyword page, right? If that makes any sense, I hope it does. You know, it's just, it's just creating more content for that specific keyword so Google sees that you are the expert in in that uh, area, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And at the end, I have a checklist that you'll be able to download for free. You don't have to give me an email address or anything like that. You just, you know, just download the uh, the, the 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 checklist, and you know, you can check it out. So my uh, cell phone number is right here on the screen. If you have any questions, if you if you need any, any questions answered, don't worry about bothering me. Just shoot me over a text. Um, you're not bothering me at all. If you just want to say hello or, you know, you just want to say something about my channel, you know, feel free. Shoot me a text. Or if you want, you can leave it in the comment section below. But let's get started. You're going to love this video. I explain everything uh, really nice and easy for you to understand. It's a simple, simple video. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, right here is your Google My Business, your website gets plugged into your Google My Business because there's a place in your Google My Business where you add your website, right? Fair enough, easy, easy stuff, right? Now, in your Google My Business, going back to your Google My Business, make sure you use real pictures. Don't use stock photography. And also, use video. If you, could, uh, if you have the means to hire a trusted Google photographer, do that. If you don't, then use a app called Street View. Street View, I'll put it in the description below. And you just download it on your phone, it's super easy to use. You basically just hold your phone, spin around in a circle, and uh, it, it, it takes a, um, a 360 uh, view, and you'll be able to upload that to your Google My Business. I think it's real important to have. You wanna supply Google with all the information that they need so you know they know that you're a real business. Now your website, if you are a plumber and your Google My Business category is plumber, then everything on your homepage should be about being a plumber in your area. So if you're a plumber in Tampa, you're a plumber in Brooklyn, New York, Everything on your page should be answering questions about uh, being a plumber, right? So people have questions. Uh, your your website should answer the questions. It, it shouldn't be so much about that you were family, you're family owned, and you've been in business since 1965, and you're the best, right? It should be about you know different questions that people have about about. Um, uh, hiring a plumber okay you could google the questions you could go to Quora and ask questions right we've spoke about that in different in different videos all right so everything on your home page is about being a plumber then your first set of links are your additional GMB category so if your second GMB category is heating contractor well then that should be your first link not your home page uh, uh, link, you know, not a link on your home page that says home when people know to click your logo. Let me show you what I mean. So, for example, everything on this page is about being a plumber in Orlando, Florida. If you scroll down, 
everything here and all the questions that I asked. I'll put this website in the link below so you'll be able to you could use this as a guide. Right? We also put a little map here and everything about Orlando, Florida. See how we listed the hours, 24 hours, not just month through at Fry, 24 hours, or seven days a week. You have to list the hours as we, as they're listed in the Google My Business. I don't, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it, but these are your secondary GMB categories. All the GMB categories that you select in the Google My Business, these are your first links, right? You don't put home here, and you're able to click the, the logo and also hit the home. That's a waste of real estate. These are all your Google My Business categories. You'll notice there's a typo in here. We have heating contractor twice and I think plumber. We should take that out. Plumber out and take heating contractor out because we have heating contractor here. All right, it's just something that we whipped up pretty quick. Now, your services, these are all your plumbing services. Then whatever you want to put after that, you want to put about us, you want to put FAQs, you want to put your blog, you contact us, whatever you want to put. But these are must-haves, your Google My Business categories and your keyword pages. Then after that, any other links you want to put. This is the best way to rank. This is how I rank 30 plus clients, right? I know other SEOs who do it differently, but this is the way that I do it. So I'm showing you the way that I do it, right? So when I say uh, website on page optimization, you make sure that you're optimized for the word plumber. Then your GMB categories, these are your GMB categories right here. Okay, you make sure your GMB categories, you have pages for them. Make sure you have keyword pages. I can't really get into this too much, but what moves the needle is traffic. And let me show you what I mean. So once you have your pages optimized perfectly, so I'll just put in plumber, right? If you are, let's say you're JPI plumbing. If you're JPI plumbing, you need people to type in plumber in your area. I have my location set to Staten Island. Not in Staten Island, thank God. So All you have to do is just get people to click your your link, JPI Plumbing. So they just have to type in Plumber Staten Island or you know plum, whatever keyword you, you want to be found in the Google Three Pack, and go on your phone, take a look at your contacts, you know, call five people, text five people, say, hey man, can you go to Google? Can you type in Plumber Staten Island? Can you go scroll down to my listing and click Chapman Brothers? And if you do that after a couple of weeks, I guarantee you're going to move up. Now, you're not going to stay up there unless the, 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 um, you keep getting traffic to your website. But, but just being in the three-pack, you'll get natural traffic. Right? So that is, you know, that's really, that's, that's a game all to itself right there. It's traffic. And... There are many types of different ways to get traffic, and I'm just giving you the most uh, uh, basic caveman way to do it. Go on your phone or go to your Facebook group and ask people in your area to do a search for you on their mobile, on their desktop, and when they scroll down and find you, click your link, right? So we get like you know 100 niche citations I get them from Bright Local. That's where I like to get my my citation my citations from. You can get them wherever you want, right? We also post articles on uh, social social media like Facebook and and um, and uh, Twitter and and LinkedIn and Web 2.0s like Tumblr and Blogger and Weebly. And I'll go over that. I'll show you what I mean by that. But we post articles. You know, you know, two, three times a week on 
on these sites about, you know, about, you know, being a plumber or being a lawyer, an electrician, so on and so forth. And we post five times a week in your GMB. So we go to your, your Google My Business and we, and we go to the posts section and we post five times about the keywords that we're trying to rank. So if we're trying to rank plumber in Staten Island and you're in, you know, eighth or ninth place, you know, you're going to get five posts that week about being a plumber in Staten Island and, and, and what my company could do for you, assuming I was a plumber, right? Then we get some uh, geo and industry specific backlinks. Those are the most important backlinks that you could get. So... For example, you know, if you're in Staten Island, you may have the Staten Island Chamber of Commerce or the Staten Island the local Staten Island newspaper. You want links on those local uh, entities, right? You want you want links on those type of websites, Chamber of Commerce, you know, different types of trade groups, uh, blogs that have to do with plumbing in Staten Island, right? Those are the type of backlinks that you want. All right, so I am going to put a link to this is this is the form that I use. I created this form in less annoying CRM. If you don't have a CRM, I would suggest I've used many CRMs. This is only ten dollars per user. It's extremely workable, meaning that like you know you go to settings and you just create these forms, and I use these forms for my team and. They're, they're perfect. The system never goes down. I can't say enough good things about it. I, I wish they had a different name. I would, I would call them something like Rocket CRM, or there probably is a Rocket CRM, or something like that. You know, but right now they're less annoying CRM, and it's good enough for me because it it's not annoying at all. So I'm going to put a link in the description below. But this is everything that I do. Once I've once I've done the on page, this is their maintenance. This is my client's maintenance, right? This is what I do to main. You know, a lot of times people say, "Well, what am I paying a thousand dollars for?" Once you get me into the three pack, because if I don't keep up on the maintenance, you're going to drop because so your competition's paying somebody else, and uh, you know they, they you're going to start to you're going to start to drop in the rankings. So this is everything that we do. So I put a little status here if they're ranking good, great. Poor keyword research. I put all the keywords right here. How many articles are we doing a month? And that really depends on like if we're doing an if we're doing a lawyer in New York City, as opposed to doing a plumber somewhere in Utah, right? The competition's more in New York City. I'm gonna have to throw more more articles on their website, more blog articles. All right. Then uh, post uh, keyword articles. So we have a Google Sheet. We'll post the Google Sheet here and all the articles that we do for a specific client because at the end of the month, they're going to want to see all the articles that we do. So we'll post it right here. Then uh, one of the guys that, that work with me, Tony, he posts the, you know, did he post the articles to the website? Yes or no? All right. Uh, then I want to see the article URL. So, for example, abcplumbing.com slash uh, uh, Staten Island Drain Cleaners, for example. So he'll put all the articles that he created right here. How many YouTube videos? We usually do, you know, usually one or two YouTube videos a month. And especially we'll do a YouTube video for a lagging keyword. So, for example, uh, I don't know, drainage. Say this client wasn't ranking in clogged drain, you know, maybe they're in sixth to seventh place. So, you know, we'll, we'll create a video that says uh, Staten Island clogged drain and we'll embed that video in an article on their website. Excuse my dog, he's snoring right now. So I'm sorry about that in the background. All right, and then add YouTube video links. All right, so these little notes to my, the people that work with me. And then we have something that I created called like, a, well, I created the whole thing, but, but, but something that I call the ecosystem or the ecosystem, right? So these are all the places where we post articles each month for all our clients. So anywhere from, you know, doing GMB posts to Facebook 
to creating videos on Daily Motion or Vimeo. They're the same videos that we upload to the YouTube channel. So it's really nothing to upload them to other channels. And then we put links to the uh, keyword page. So for example, if it's abcplumbing.com slash, um, um, what did I say, drain, clog toilet, right? We'll link to that clog toilet page in the video. So we'll say for more information, click here uh, about clog toilet, abcplumbing.com slash clog toilet, right? So we'll make a video about uh, clog toilets in Staten Island. Uh, the Pinterest links are really good because when people share them, uh, they share your link and, and, and you wind up getting more links. If you don't have a Pinterest account, I would suggest to get one. You know, that, that, that appears to, to help. And um, then I want to see at the end of the month, I want to see all the videos and Web 2.0s that we created. So I, I created a little section here. I think that's something really good that you should have. And then, you know, uh, step five is we optimize all the article pages and we use a program called InLinked. You may want to check that out. It's called InLinked. And the good thing about that is it analyzes your website and then it lets you know what pages should be linked to what pages. <laughs> yeah, that's real powerful. That's real powerful. A lot of people just create a website and they're, and they're linking pattern on their website is, is really wacky. Or they don't have any, any links going back to their keyword pages or their GMB pages. All right. Are all... YouTube videos embedded on the website, on, on the article pages, yes and no, if no, why? Uh, are all pages optimized and complete? So when you create a page, it's very important, for example, like, you know, a page like this, right? You want to use a program called, we use a, a, a WordPress plugin called Rank Math. It's like Yoast SEO. It just lets you know you're on page if you're saying the word water heater repair too many times or not enough times. But we use a program called Rank Math. Rank Math. Like, like mathematics, right? And uh, we use Rank Math. And then we use another program called Page Optimizer Pro. And pay, it's, it's pageoptimizer.pro. And that checks all your on-page optimization. It really takes it to the next level. So I like using both those programs. You don't have to. But I would definitely suggest to use a program that, that you understand and that, you, that works best for you. But you can't just write articles and say, well, I wrote an article on water heater repair or something like that. You, you don't know how many times to say the keyword. You don't know how many words to write. So it's real important to have these programs, all right? All right, so are all the pages optimized? If no, what's left to do? What's the YouTube channel name? The YouTube channel username and password. Do we have any notes on this project? Like if somebody's having difficulty with something, I'd like to see it here. Feb is one of the um, young ladies that work with me, and she does basically all the social accounts. So she'll put the Facebook username and password, the Instagram, TikTok, uh, all that. So we do that for all our customers. And then at the end, we want to make sure who, who checked the project to make sure that everything was done, right? And uh, now once everything is done, then we use a traffic program. So we'll set up a, a traffic program, for example, it was set up today on the 18th. And what type of traffic program did we set up? Did we set up a multi-tier, a branded, you know, traffic like ABC Plumbing? Are people looking for ABC Plumbing and then clicking your website? Um, or are they doing uh, ABC Plumbing, ABC Plumbing, Staten Island Plumber? And, you know, and, and doing a search like that and then finding you in maps. Are they doing a keyword search, a GMB category search? So we run different types of, of uh, programs, of uh, traffic programs to, look, 
Here's the bottom line. Traffic is what links were in like 2005 for Google, right? Basically, if you're able to run traffic correctly without overdoing it and you do it a little at a time and, and your pages are relevant to that keyword, for example, Staten Island Plumbing, if you have a page that's super relevant for Staten Island Plumbing and you run traffic to that page and people are going to the Google 3-pack, scrolling down to your to your listing, clicking it, and then clicking the call or the directions button, and then Xing out of Google. Xing out of Google or then going to Yelp and doing more research on you, you know, uh, for example, reading your reviews, that's okay too, right? But it's okay if they just end the search, right? They terminate the search, that's good too. And and you're gonna you're gonna move up in the rankings. That's really as simple as it is. And if you're doing SEO yourself and you don't have a traffic program, you're just going to get beat like a guy like me or somebody else who's doing it who does. It's the other, it's, it's, it's really, let's go back to this. And I don't mean to say that arrogantly, right? I'm just really trying to make an impact statement. Like if you don't have this, if you don't have this, if this is what you're missing, a traffic you know, if you're missing traffic in the equation, you could do all this till the cows come home. You know, and maybe you get maybe you get results, but you're going to get killer results with a traffic program. And right now, I'm not in the liberty to uh, recommend one. If I, I will, I will one day. Right now, I'm not. But um, I'm telling you something. That's what kills the rankings. I have 30 some odd clients, they're all ranking, every single one. For several keywords, not all the keywords, right? Not all the keywords, gotta pay attention to, you know, some of the keywords that aren't ranking, find out why. But all 30 clients are ranking for five keywords, you know, maybe they're ranking four of them. Most of them, all five, in the three pack. And I really wish it was like, you know, I really wish it was something where I could show all my clients and show all my rankings. But can't do that anymore because not everybody's watching these videos for the same for the same reason. So but that's OK. That's all right. You know. So, you know, I, I just want to I just wanted to get the information out to you. And I really hope that this helps you because this this. This video would have really helped me. And I'm gonna put a link for my process right here. And, and if you're doing your own SEO, I think this process will help you as well, right? I don't know if I spoke about this too much. You know, you wanna put articles uh, uh, about, if, it's, if, you, if you're not ranking for Staten Island uh, uh, plumbing or Staten Island, you know, whatever your keyword is. Staten Island clog sink. You want to make sure that you put articles about clog sinks on all these social and web 2.0s with links going back to that specific page. Right? And then you run your traffic programs that, you know, go to, for example, you know, your Reddit post and then click the link and then eh, it's a whole thing, right? All right, I wanna get you too excited. I know you get excited over this. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the description below. Guys, like I always say, the most important thing is, you know, it's great that you're running a business and you're doing good and if nobody told you today that you're doing good and that they're proud of you because you started this business out of nowhere, like I started mine out of, out of, out of nowhere, just an idea. You were given that idea, right? You were given that idea, and, and, and you were given that idea for a reason, because, because of your talent. So I know sometimes things can get hard, and sometimes you're sitting in front of a computer saying to yourself, you know, why am I doing this? I'm really getting nowhere. I, I've been doing this for five years. I haven't got a client, uh, you know? I've been doing this for 25 years. Right, and, and, and I didn't really start getting it until about 18, 19 years. So everybody sitting here watching this is, is well ahead of me, 
right? But the thing is, is, is just don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. If this is something that you like to do and you have a dream of being able to be your own boss one day and come and go as you please and to have a virtual team taking care of all the work that, that, that you initially laid out for people, or if you just want to rank your own locksmith site, your own plumber site, whatever you're doing, you know, then, then, then don't give up, man. You're doing good. You're doing good. You made the effort to sit here and watch this video. And if nobody told you you're doing good, I'm telling you you're doing good. You're doing good. All right? So don't give up. Don't give up. Be good to your family. Kiss your wife and kids. All right? Kiss, kiss, kiss your husband. You know, your family members. A clean up around the house. Do 51%. Don't wait for people to clean up after you. Take the dog out. Right? Just be good. Just be a good person. Be a good person. And, and, and I promise you things will work out. Right? 90% of this business or of any business is showing up. Showing up. Once you show up, it, the other 5% is being friendly. And then the other 5% is hard work. <laughs> right? But 90% of it is showing up, 5% being friendly. If you could do that, you could make it in any job. Because people go out of their way to help you. People in my personal life have went out of my way. To, I'm going to make a video on that one day about the people who have helped me in my life because there's been there's been people that have just come out of the out of the clear blue and said hey hey man i know you need this here you go and bless me that's why i try to do that to you